Today, I will be giving you a full tour of the Celebrity Reflection Casino, starting off with the host desk. Hey all, it's Koala bringing you quality cruise content. The casino host desk is where you can go to check your loyalty status and your points that you have earned during the cruise. Across from here, you will find the cashier, which is where you can hopefully cash up all of your winnings. Now in this casino, we have many different table games to choose from, and we will touch on each one throughout the video. Starting off, we see Blackjack, and then we have the Ultimate Texas Hold'em here. This was a $10 minimum table. For Blackjack, I saw everything from $15 and $25 minimums to $50 and $100 minimums. So they definitely have quite a bit of variety here on this ship. Thus, a good portion of the tables here are dedicated to Blackjack. We do have some slot machines here, as well as video poker. If tables are not your style of play, you can choose to press your luck <laughs> on the video poker here. They do only have a few machines for video poker, but hopefully it is not too crowded on your sailing so you can secure a seat here. Now let's continue looking at the table games here. It does get a little bit busy, just so you know, but the walkways on either side are great if you want to pass through. But at certain times of the night, it can definitely get a bit crowded. So next we are going to find the three card poker table here. This one was a little bit more quiet, but it is a fan favorite. Now for the most part, the tables on this side are going to be mirrored on the other side as well, with a few caveats. but. Overall, it's very similar on either side. This is the $15 blackjack table right here. Now we have one of two roulette tables. Unfortunately, this one did not have a screen showing the minimum bet, at least when I visited. However, the other table was a $1 minimum bet. I'm guessing this was probably the same or $5, but don't quote me on that. Of course, they can change the minimum bet price anyways based on the sailing and it's completely up to their discretion. See, on my sailing, they had the $100 table as well as the $50 table here too. So this is one side of all of the table games for the casino, which is closest to the cashier. Now let's take a look at the slot machines on this side. So right next to the cashier, we're going to find a row that is going to then break up into smaller sections of slot machines. There are a lot of different machines, so hopefully you do see some of your favorites. I think that the Reflection does have a lot to offer in the way of slot machines in terms of their variety. We are going to find some buffaloes, uh, we see some firelings here that we're going to walk up to. We're also going to find dancing drums, coffin puff, Zeus and many other favorites, including Wheel of Fortune. Now this particular area that we're standing in does get very busy because although we have the fire links here and unfortunately one of them was out of service, we do see Heidi over here and we have Dancing Drums, the prosperity version. So it does get busy, but the bigger mugs and the Dancing Drums and the fire links all in one place yeah, it does, it does get a bit packed, and the way that they kind of made this little corner laid out was a little bit of an interesting choice. The rest of the ship layout for the casino was, I think, a little bit more thought out, and we're gonna see a bit more space, like right here. It just seems a little bit more like you can walk through it, but I digress, that's my personal opinion. Now, let's just keep walking through and taking a look at all of these. Like I said, hopefully you see your favorite. If you do, comment down below what it is. I'll wish you luck. <laughs> so let's talk about the timing of this casino. The way that Celebrity, at least for this class of ship, does a lot of their activities is that the Deal or No Deal, as well as the bingo cards, have to be purchased in the casino at the cashier. So it definitely gets busy, mostly because of people walking through. You know, the theater is going to be pretty close to the casino. But when people are looking to purchase for these events, it does really get very busy, mostly on that cashier side. 
Now, what's nice is typically they handle it relatively well. They'll have one cashier open for just casino guests, and then they'll have another cashier, maybe two for the bingo purchasers or the dealer no deal purchasers. So they do try and manage that. And I mean, the walkthrough area does get a little bit crowded and trying to cut through the casino can be a little bit difficult at that time. But again, like, you know, if you want to partake in these events, that's where you have to go. And I think that they do a pretty good job of trying to mitigate that. It just so happens to be where they have to purchase those tickets. So keep that in mind. Also, if you are planning to purchase bingo or deal or no deal tickets, you probably want to get there early and also just be mindful of the other people around you because there are going to be people, you know, who are just trying to cash up their winnings in the casino. Keep in mind which line is for which, and that's going to help you move swiftly through the process. Now, if you are enjoying this video, you're finding it helpful and informative, I would absolutely appreciate you joining the Koala family. <laughs> Hitting the subscribe button helps me produce more content, but it also allows for you to stay notified for when I post more videos. I do casino tours, but I also do ship tours, cabin tours and reviews, vlogs, and everything cruising related. So if you love sailing the seas, I would love for you to join our little community. All right, that's my shameless plug for the day. Now, like I said, hopefully as we're walking through, you're finding some of your favorites. I think this little section right here might be the best in terms of layout because instead of having like a whole row of dancing drums, they kind of just sprinkled this section with different varieties so it does mitigate some of the crowdedness which is a little bit helpful we're nearing the front or i guess back of the casino actually and we're gonna take a look at the other side of the table games area. They do host the tournaments on C days, so when they're able to and the casino's open, they will host that and just know that you are probably going to have to enter rather early. But then again, that just depends on the type of people who are on your sailing and how popular poker is. Hopefully you are finding some of your favorite table games. Really, the layout of this is pretty much a close mirror to the other side just a little bit of change with the minimum bets and we also see the craps table too so i think the craps table is laid out in a good fashion because it's in the middle and there's a lot more space because if you know anything about craps it gets very crowded and a little bit loud too so i do think that it was put in a rather good place Otherwise, I probably would have switched it with like the poker table just to mitigate some of that crowdedness. Now we have a whole other section of slot machines here. So we're going to take a little bit of a walk around. I would call this area to probably be less popular, but that's just my opinion and also just based off of my sailing. Of course, my experience could be very different the week after, you know, depending on demographics and, and whatnot. We do see some buffalo machines here, which are always popular, the buffalo golds here. And we're going to see more buffaloes later too, not just these ones. So, so if you're like, oh my goodness, there's not many, don't worry, there are more. We do have an ATM here at your disposal too. If you want to cash out more money to spend in the casino, just know you're probably going to be hit some hefty processing fees. So keep that in mind. Now next to the ATM is usually where they host these slot tournaments. So if you're feeling lucky and also feeling like you want a workout, you know, with slamming the button, then this is the thing for you. So if you are curious as to where that's posted, it is right here. I do appreciate that they host it next to the shop area because it definitely helps with flow because it absolutely gets crowded. And overall, just the casino being next to the shop area, I really do appreciate. It helps 
have a little bit more light. I actually know what time of day it is, which is really appreciated. Casinos tend to be rather dark and want you to stay in there for so long so they, you know, don't let you see the daylight so they can try and keep you in there for longer, but I do like the overall style of this ship. I think it's really nice and elegant. We do see some buffalo golds here, so like I said, we do see more, but we're gonna see even more after this. Here we have more dancing drums. These are the prosperity type. And here we have the couple of rows of machines. Now I wanna touch on this because what we'll see is we have the bar and we'll, we'll take a little bit more of a closer look at that. But this little area on the sister ship, Celebrity Aquinox, does not exist. Or as in, it doesn't have slot machines here. What it actually has is more tables and seating that you can choose from to relax in the casino and i think i actually preferred that to this and don't get me wrong the more slots the more fun the more variety lets people have a little bit more of a, a good time sure however i do think that the bar is just really crowded it's such a small dedicated area so there really isn't a whole lot of space here. Now don't get me wrong, waitresses and waiters come around and help you with your drinks, but I do think that they should have added a little bit more room rather than put like all of these machines here. Maybe they could have taken out a couple. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. And we're going to close off with more buffalo gold so if you're looking for buffalo gold this side of the casino is where you want to be all right y'all that is the casino on the celebrity reflection thank you so much for watching like i said i hope it was helpful and informative for you and i will see y'all in the next video bon voyage